in this lecture we will see how uh, from a state specific representation of a linear time invariant system we can get the corresponding transfer function okay so consider a linear time invariant system whose state space representation is given by x dot is equal to ax plus bu okay so this is essentially uh, x dot of t to be equal to ax of t plus bu of t a and b are matrices which are constant and do not vary with time and y of t is equal to c x of t plus b u of t so this is what we have so what we'll do is to find out the transfer function from this we'll take the laplace transform of the differential equation and the algebraic equation so we have okay so taking laplace transform what we get is s x s minus x of 0 or x of 0 is the initial condition is equal to a x s plus b u s and ys is nothing but equal to c uh, xs plus b us now since we are tra trying to find out the transfer function we will assume that the initial condition is g okay so once we make this assumption what we have is s x s to be equal to a x s plus b u s and y of s to be equal to c x s plus b u s so from the first equation i have s i minus a x s to be equal to b us so this gives me that xs is nothing but si minus a inverse multiplied by b into us now ys is c xs plus b us so if i substitute xs from the wave equation I get C SI minus A inverse B US plus B US. So what I get is YS to be equal to C SI minus A inverse B plus B US. So, this is nothing but in general to speak the transfer matrix multiplied by US. Okay, so GS is the transfer matrix. If Y is 1 cross 1, and u is 1 cross 1 that is we are talking of a single input single output system then gs we get is the transfer function okay and in such a case this will be equal to what we essentially see as ys by us b c s i minus a inverse b plus b 
Okay. Now please note that the state space representation of a system is not unique whereas the transfer matrix of a system is un so given any state space representation if the state space representation denotes or represents one particular system then whatever transfer function you get from all those state space representation they will be the same transfer function okay the reverse is not true if i give you a transfer function for a system and i ask you to find a state space representation you can find infinite possible state space representation because it depends on how you handle the transfer function so in one of the lectures uh, possibly when we will be uh, discussing the canonical form representation of the systems there we will discuss about how to come back from a transfer function to a state space form and in that we will see that for a given state space uh, transfer function you can possibly have different state space forms okay it all depends on how you basically handle that transfer function so we had considered a few examples two of them were uh, systems with springs and one of them was an electrical circuit i suggest that whatever state space form we have found out please try to find the corresponding transfer matrix for the system and if you are already working on some system for your research problem or for uh, what's any club that you are associated with uh, try to see if you can model those systems and form a state space representation of it and try to find the transfer function of the system from the state space representation that you have found so we'll stop here thank you